Welcome to the lesson on symptomatic bradycardia. In this video, we'll discuss bradycardia, its symptoms, and types of bradycardia. Bradycardia is defined as a heart rate of less than 60 beats per minute. While any heart rate less than 60 beats per minute is considered bradycardia, not every individual bradycardia is symptomatic or having a pathological event. Individuals in excellent physical shape often have sinus bradycardia. Symptomatic bradycardia may cause a number of signs and symptoms, including low blood pressure, pulmonary edema and congestion, abnormal rhythm, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, and or confusion. Symptomatic bradycardia should be treated with the ACLS survey. If bradycardia is asymptomatic but occurs with an arrhythmia listed below, obtain a consultation from a cardiologist experienced in treating rhythm disorders. Symptoms of bradycardia include shortness of breath, altered mental status, hypotension, pulmonary edema or congestion, and weakness, dizziness, or lightheadedness. We will review four types of bradycardia in this lesson, including sinus bradycardia, first degree AV block, second degree type 1 AV block, which is also known as Weckenbach, and second degree type 2 AV block, which is also known as Mobitz 2, and third degree AV block, which is also known as complete heart block. Sinus bradycardia rules include RR intervals to be regular and overall rhythm to be regular. The rate is less than 60 beats per minute, but usually more than 40 beats per minute. There is one P wave in front of every QRS and they appear uniform. The PR interval measures between 0.12 and 0.20 seconds in duration and is consistent. The QRS complex measures less than 0.12 seconds. First degree AV block rules include RR intervals to be regular and overall rhythm to be regular. The rate depends on the underlying rhythm. There is one P wave in front of every QRS and they appear uniform. The PR interval measures more than 0.2 seconds in duration and is consistent. The QRS complex measures less than 0.12 seconds. Second degree type 1 AV block or Weckenbach rules include RR interval to be regular, but there is usually a pattern to it. The RR interval gets longer as the PR interval gets longer. The ventricular rate is usually slightly higher than the atrial rate due to some atrial beats not being conducted. The atrial rate is usually normal. P waves are upright and uniform. Most complexes will have a P wave in front of them. However, there'll be some that don't have a P wave. The PR interval gets progressively longer until there is a dropped QRS complex. The QRS complex measures less than 0.12 seconds. Second degree type 2 AV block or MOBITS 2 rules include the RR interval to be regular if there is consistent conduction ratio. If the conduction ratio is not constant, the RR interval will be irregular. The atrial rate is normal. The ventricular rate is slower, usually half to one-third slower than the atrial rate. P waves are upright and uniform. There is not a QRS following every P wave. The PR interval can only be measured on conducted beats, and it's usually constant across the strip. It may or may not be longer than a normal PR interval, which is 0.12 seconds. The QRS complex measures less than 0.12 seconds. Third degree AV block or complete heart block rules include RR interval to be regular and PP interval to also be regular. The atrial rate is regular and normally 60 to 100. The rate of QRS complexes is dependent on the focus. If the focus is ventricular, the rate will be 20 to 40. If the focus is junctional, the rate will be 40 to 60. P waves are upright and uniform. There's not a QRS following every P wave. The PR interval can only be measured on conducted beats, and it's usually constant across the strip. It may or may not be longer than a normal PR interval, which is 0.12 seconds. The QRS complex interval may be normal, but is more likely to be prolonged. Here is a quick summary of all the symptomatic bradycardia. Sinus bradycardia is normal rhythm with slow rate. First degree AV block has PR interval longer than 0.2 seconds. Second degree type 1 AV block has PR interval increase in length until QRS complex is dropped. Second degree type 2 AV block has PR interval same length with intermittently dropped QRS. Third degree AV block has PR interval and QRS complex that are not coordinated with each other. 
For adult bradycardia with pulse algorithm, refer to figure 36 in your corresponding ACLS manual. This concludes our lesson on symptomatic bradycardia. Next, we'll review tachycardia.